Man, they don't want to see a nigga winning, man. You know what I mean? They don't want to see the kid winning, man. He's got color. They just want to. You yeah, just, yeah, I man. like the orange. You just call him so colored. Nice, you know? No, I said he's got some color. Called him colored. Yeah, he called me colored. Yeah, it's the nigga. orange hat. Three. I see. Damn. A little bit. You said right. I'm a nigga. All right, some search shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she said she quit smoking, but she wants some nicotine. She licks scrotum, then I flick the bean and split the spleen. I overloaded the Trojan when I finished. I mean, balloon animal level. We twist the green, smoking ate some Krispy Kreme. 616, bro, it's time to hit the water for that clean stoke. Doc Wilder Beach with my peeps. Trade winds from the That's east, good. catching waves from the... Yeah, you know, a little surf shit. Quick yeah. question. Why when you play, if you play one of your songs, I it, I only I don't even hear the music. I just hear you rapping. I have no idea. I, maybe um, you... I'm I don't know, bro. How does that work? But if you play my, you played my song the other day... You can and only I hear it. your own songs. That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I, I, I'm it's, damn. It could be something. Okay, what there is, is a difference. What are you doing? Your different? songs we've been playing that's on a, Spotify. That's a very high level of vanity. He's got the vanity <laughs> uh, headphones on. Maybe it's that. Um. So, Aaron, how's your butt? <laughs> oh yeah, my dog. <laughs> I, hey. I wanted to come on and be like, "Hey, will you guys cut that out?" And then act like I didn't know that you guys posted it already. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I like that. Yeah, no, the 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 butt's fine. I miss Caitlin, but um, mm. we out here, you know. Hey, well, she's man, coming I on tonight, Max, which is pretty exciting. I told Max, I got I got a new I got a new idea for you, man. You could market, make some money. You come up with your own anal lube. It's called Bussy Butter. <laughs> Bussy Butter. <laughs> That's it, man. That's that's that should be another high school, high school dropout, dropout release. Be, it's Bussy yeah. Butter Thank and you. Bussy Bussy Bussy. Butter. Oh, we got another one. We're gonna have a whole we got you up. Bundle it up. It should be yeah, Aaron's yeah. Bussy Butter. Aaron's Bussy Butter. But yeah, it's a Aaron's high school dropout product. Yep, yep. Oh. And then just fuck shoes. Yep. Oh. Dude, that would be good. That would be good merch to sell after stand up shows. People would buy Bussy Butter. Bro. For sure. Shit, man. When we tour, when high school dropouts tour, we already have two pieces of merch. Should we come up with some more? <laughs> merch come ideas? A merch uh, a yeah. merch session? Oh my God. Hey, in the no, Discord, L's got, L's got the, L's got the health beauty store, so I'm pretty sure they can whip us up some bussy butter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's L's a with collab. the bussy butter, uh, and it's uh, uh, dirty with the uh, fuck shoes uh, right. designs. Okay, we, all right. We're going to go. We have We have a team. Exciting we news. Jaron will be in LA next week, so he'll be at this table yeah. with us. Oh, nice. Be fun. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, dirty will be around. Maybe we'll. Okay. Slide in. Okay. He was on one episode. I think he, we he just like... looked. He was in the back with a head wrap, looking like Aunt Jemima. It was. Uh, it was. <laughs> <funny. No. laughs> um, what else? Uh, I don't know, man. Aaron is uh got a game on in the background. What are you watching in the background there? Two K. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's March Madness. Oh really? Okay. Uh, F Florida Atlantic versus Tennessee. I just love ball, man. You just love yeah, watching love ball. ball. Yeah. We played ball you know? once. Yeah, you took it too serious, man. <laughs> I, hey, I seen Max try to take two, and the motherfucker was just getting scabbed up. He kept falling, uh, and yeah, he just stuff up. I can see that he's you giving it, it, dude. It was like ten in the morning before, a, like, yeah. and he's just like giving it both bare for no reason. Like there's like, scouts like, watching or something. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like he's like playing physical. It's like relax, dude. Hey, well, you, you learn <laughs> you learn how to ball in jail, right? I own my skills in jails. Yes. Yeah. Um, without shoes. He's still out here playing jail ball, bro. We gotta play jail Yeah, ball. he really is. At yeah. any time. There was no one watching. We were at an abandoned <laughs> school, and he was lowering his ass into me. Like, he was backing me down like he was Kobe. It was so annoying. I couldn't do anything either. You were... Whatever. He never played with me again. No. Um, so, Aaron, let's, let's honestly start with you. Uh, how was your week, bro? Um, my week's awful. Oh, but, man. uh... <laughs> Really? It yeah, took a, it took a down. I told him not to what, what happened, man? That, that's a, that's a pretty fast spiral. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Yesterday, I was just so I'm trying to be celibate. <laughs> I, I'm 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 just real ping I'm pong like, scenario here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so, damn. Celibate, <laughs> uh, butt celibate or full celibate? Full celibate. I'm okay. trying to be full celibate. No dating apps or anything, and um, also trying not to reach out to Caitlin. Okay. Also, I'm eating 180 grams of protein and going to the gym. It's like I don't have any um, vice right now. You know what I mean? And uh, Ooh, and man. I just moved to a new place. And I'm literally and I'm trying to like believe in myself. Yada yada yada. You know what I mean? And um, mm. that's a lot. And bro. then last night, 
yeah, last night I, I go to the open mic. I wait five hours. I have an okay set. It's fine. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just, anno- I'm annoyed. This is Joe Rogan's spot? Go, no, no. Oh. This is at the, the Lucky Duck open mic. The Lucky Duck. You know duck. what's crazy about Austin is there's actually like, there are a ton of like hot chicks at these open mics. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. weird. Like college yeah. girls just trying to have fun. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I go up. It's fucking awful. And then I do the Creek in the Cave open mic. It's there's two drunk dudes wearing matching hats and matching shoes. That's the only audience there. Oh, no Jesus. comics either. It's just these two guys and the host of the open mic at twelve forty. Damn. And then I just go home and I jerk off. You know, and I'm trying to just yeah. not. Uh, <laughs> Would you jerk off? It's like uh, the image of Caitlin pegging you. Yeah, the image of Caitlin no. pegging me. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, for real. So I just no, not the image of. Uh, I was jerking off to the idea of fucking Caitlin. But um, yeah, and then I and then I just jerk off way too much because I'm not I'm not on dating apps. I'm not. I mean, how, I'm many, not times, having... how many times you, you you over there cranking one out, man? You on three days? Three, three days. Three, I'm on three two, days. I'm on three, three days day? right now. I know about three yeah. day life. <laughs> two, two at night, one in the morning. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. A, two to go to bed, and then one. You know, <laughs> do you do the 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 post uh, shit, the post morning shit jerk? No, oh, I don't. I don't. Shit. I don't. Shit. I don't shit in the morning. Is that, <laughs> what is that? Oh no no no! Because it's, okay, so it, you know, after oh, you, when you go. take a morning shit, you know, uh, you release your bowels and uh, you're, you're no no and and it, you're a little lighter. You're a little you know. It's like it, you're there, and you may as well just jerk off right on the shit. You never jerked off on a turd. Oh this. no, bro! Yeah. Oh hey, I have one twice, but it's a little much. You, the this cow is a daily meter. thing for you. No, I don't drink anymore. Cow but I, you know what? Usually meters, they kind of go up. Yeah. Cow comes in the door breaking his own meter. Did you see what I did on the meter today on the, yeah. on the clip? It exploded. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I don't take morning shits. Oh, so you, oh, that's, that's don't take I take I, I, I I about a 3 p.m. I think about a 3 p.m. shit. Nah, oh, dude, wow. I got it. I got to get my coffee. Yeah. Hit yeah, the I don't oatmeal. have a regular time either. Take a take a morning shit. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a morning dump. Sorry. Wow, that's that's a three p.m. dump. That, the that, last that, thing that, I want to do is sit in the bathroom after my shit and or and jerk off on top of my shit. That's the, <laughs> hey man, that's I, the last thing. I oh, you you have that free time, you know, and and it's just you're already doing dirty shit, and you just like it makes you feel a little filthy, and then you just busting that on your. You know, after the last turd. episode, no, and it was great. specifically after the moment where Kyle talks about farting in a lady's mouth. Lindsay, who's listened to every single episode, came to me. She's like. I'm concerned about the friends you keep. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> I think that's what fun, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh damn! Yeah, we're red flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did she think about that episode? Uh, she was appalled. Uh, but also, uh, I was talking about it with her, and then her mom like walks by. She's like, "Oh yeah, man, she have a podcast. What's it called? I want to look it up." Oh, uh, I said. No, no. Absolutely not. I, I looked at Lindsay. I was like, in all seriousness, do not ever tell her what it's called. So yeah. that'd yeah. be that'd be awful. Uh, wait, so Aaron, yeah. why, why are you trying to be celibate? What's that about? I don't know. I'm just trying to be okay with myself alone. That's a tough combo with the move because that's usually like the one kind of exciting component. Like I know when I go to a new city, it's like that's the fun part. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 the- <laughs> that's yeah. rough. So I'm trying to, to, you know, be alone, find myself, and be happy on my own. That's what the whole move is supposed to be never for, you happen. know, to to learn to be alone and not try. Obviously, I'll, I'll never be perfect and not relying on outside things. But but right now, it's extreme because I'm like dieting. I'm not dieting, but I'm just starting to eat protein. I mean, I'm eating just chicken and, and hot sauce, you know, and, and a little bit of ranch. <laughs> but you're and, vaping, uh, right? I am vaping. That's the one thing I have. You're vaping and you go to the um, gym. Yes. So you found a gym. Yes. Right. Uh, I still go to LA Fitness. I'm still on Caitlin's membership for the oh, LA yeah, Fitness. Yeah, yeah. What's the one so, where uh, Takashi got beat up at? LA Fitness. LA Fitness. Oh, shit. It just happened, right? Yeah, a couple of times. Now, now, what, what the fuck happened? I think people saw him and you could see outside. One of the guys went outside. He was—he had like just gotten out of jail for like eight or ten years or something. Just now, did he just recently? Got what out I hear, he but what I hear, it wasn't because he was snitching. It was because he said "fuck Puerto Rico." <laughs> isn't, he, <laughs> isn't, isn't, he, isn't he Puerto Rican? 
He's half Puerto Rican and half Mexican, but he don't claim his Puerto Rican side because his dad is Puerto Rican and his dad left his life. So he just pulled up to the. You know a lot about him. That's kind of creepy, but um, <laughs> no, there was I, 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 I only heard all this yesterday. This was at the WBC, probably. Because I saw a crazy video. So, you know, the World Baseball Classic just happened. Okay. Yes, it and was. All, yes, exactly. And all these teams are like, you know, Puerto Rico, whatever. Like yeah, yeah, all the Puerto Rico. And yeah. Mexico had a decent team, too, I think. And so it was probably. Because I saw. I didn't like, listen to it. But oh, he I was saw talking about the team, like, fuck Puerto Rico. Probably. Um, That's probably. Yes, yes. I like that he just got went to the gym and was like, fuck Puerto Rico. And then like, someone just beat him shit out of him. I mean, you know, his, his he's not very disguised out there. He's a pretty hated guy. I, I, I thought, I thought he was on site, bro. He's not on site. I guess shit. It was on site for him. Yeah. Well, now yeah. I said, listen. I said that. I said we should invite him on the podcast, and Aaron should beat him up. Be <laughs> Somebody beat us. That'd be to amazing, it. dude. Mm. Yeah, he might have that some. Been, that would have gotten views. Yeah. So we need it. <laughs> if yeah. we jump to how gosh, much would he charge? Probably a lot to let us beat him up. <laughs> I want to let us beat him up. I wonder, can he sue LA Fitness? For sure. He probably is in the really? process of doing that right now. Yeah. But will he win? I mean, that's uh, – can he sue? I mean, you can sue anyone for – I don't want to talk about it. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely, like, a, a viable thing. I don't, I don't know if, you know, all the details of it. But, yeah, he was caught in the sauna, too. Especially if those guys aren't members of the gym. If they're outsiders. You can get a, I, would, I feel because like he would the, have a better case if they outsiders. Because if the yeah the gym's not holding down that, their own security for their members, but but, but uh, you you also sign a pretty extensive waiver. Like if someone beats the shit uh, out of you for yelling, for <laughs> Puerto Rico, you can't, yeah, yeah. You can't hold I'm sure because they play basketball there all the time. People are competitive. You know what I mean? There's people you got up a point sad. there. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. There uh, has to be what's a fire day at LA Fitness. Yeah, so I guess because he generally walks around with a bunch of security, but they said he was in like the sauna without security. They caught him alone in the sauna. Caught him bro. alone in the sauna. That's some Eastern Promises shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you ever seen that? a movie? No, I haven't even heard of it. Oh, dude, that put that on your list, man. Vigo Mortensen. I watched him. Kyle, how was your week? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to give a vote of confidence to Aaron. Like, yeah, the beginning always sucks. You know, when you move, you know, there's always that loneliness, there's always that shit. So hang in there, man. Like, we're rooting for you. The winds will come. So hang in tight. Yeah, don't give up, man. Yeah. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was already thinking. I was like, there's a nice beam I could hang myself on. Yeah, yeah. But whatever. We'll, we'll, <laughs> yep. we'll keep it. Hey, if you do kill yourself, you got anything cool you want to leave to us? Uh, you can have like my. So I got some sneakers y'all can have. Uh, I probably got all the sneakers you got. I got the Sean Wather spoons. Those are pretty nice. I I, I don't have those. You got oh, that? The, yeah. What size shoe are you? I got a sixty-five inch OLED, ten and a half. Jaren, is that a back scratcher uh, in your what, hand? What, what do you? I think it's a lighter. Oh no, it's a it's a lighter. Oh, that's what are you lighting? Very long lighter. It's like four feet long. Uh, a candle. Oh, that's not, what this is, is an odd no. emo move. This is <laughs> He's, you know, I, I, I always have a candle lit when we do it. I know, but the, the 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 level of intricacy of that fucking lighter, like a long four foot torch these, lighter, to these light are the only lighters I got. That's, that's good. Strange, they're way likely to get stolen. You know, it's a strange lighter. Um, yeah, how much we less got? likely to get stolen? I think that's what I said. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think you said more. Okay, so uh, my week. Okay, I went to the dentist. First time in six years. Wow. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, no cavities. That's wow. My teeth are, ge are like legit. You know what I'm saying? Nope. What? My, my first time ever going to the dentist was that I was 18. Never went to the dentist until I was 18. Didn't have any cavities. Yeah. I love that shit, bro. Like my teeth are so, they have my back. And 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 there was this, the guy's name was uh, Dr. Lee. I had to wait for Asian. Asian. I had to wait forever, dude. I had to wait in the thing, and it's just a bunch of people coming in, and it's taking forever. And I'm, it's like Judge Mathis is on the, in the waiting room, you know. And you're just like, God damn. And uh, finally, they let me in, like hour and forty five minutes late. They do the X rays, and I was pissed. The guy asked me, like, "How you doing?" I go, "Well, oh, I don't know." I, I, it was one of those ones where I just felt like I wanted, <laughs> or like I, and in my mind, I wanted to like talk to like the head of the operation, you know, and be like. Bro, like this is just, and I said it's kind of disrespectful. You know, I had a two. You know what that guy did? He put his gloves on. Said, "I'll be right back." Went and dug in his ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Proceeded to <laughs> clean your mouth. Yeah. I did have a strange taste in my mouth today, but uh, no, I, you know, it, it was. 
it was disrespectful. I mean, 2.30 appointment, it's already like 4, 4. It's like, you know, I'm like, bro, this is a little disrespectful, you know. The dentist was not having it, you know. He just went, the dentist, how you doing? I said, oh, you know, I feel a little dis-. And he goes, okay, uh, so we're going to clean your teeth. And, uh, but, bro, but he had this Asian dude, the contraptions. He looked like he was like fucking, like splinter cell. You know what I mean? Like, he looked like he was really going to go in and do some fucking special forces shit on my teeth. Um, I, and uh, he determined no cavities, but I did have gingivitis. Um and so he had to go in yeah and so he but it was so quick and and like it was just a a very efficient operation he had the woman to the right with the sucky thing i swear she was getting off at like penisizing that sucky thing into my mouth because she goes close your mouth on it and she just kind of looked me in the eye because all she had the thing on she kind of looked me in the eye like yeah take this fucking (laughs) stroke that was a little off uh, so what I tried what they to do with the dentist. I just think it's been so long since you've been there. Maybe I just tried to be as unfellatio like as I could with that straw, and then uh, <laughs> and then the guy had like, but he had like, because back in the day he used to just use the pick, right? And they would like pick at your shit to get the tartar out. Now he had like a a remote, like fucking wireless, like pick that was, it, it, and it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced on my teeth. It it was like, but but it was very efficient. I saw shit like I, saw, I mean, because I had a lot of I saw blood and shit. It was it was an interesting experience. Um, but by the time it was done, bro, my shit says woo. I never felt so clean. So I love and I and I and I and I, and I, I, I had to give it up to them. Like they're beasts, man. Dennis, shout out to Dennis. They fucking do their thing, bro. Especially yeah, I Asian. was I was I was a dental assistant for uh, <laughs> what fucking the like fuck? five years. I bro. think I said I think I swear to God I've said is like. <laughs> Tons of times on the podcast. A dental assistant Bro. before or after the uh, exterminator? This is before the exterminator. That's the reason. The only reason I was exterminated because break the shit down. All right, crazy story. I think I said this before. Hold up. I had to sneeze. All right. Spoke. <laughs> this is not okay. ridiculous. <laughs> Fucked up. I'm having my kid. I'm like, yo, my kid's mom is in law school and everyone is bedding. I ain't saying everyone is bad, but the general senses of me is that I'm running the streets doing fucked up shit. Don't got it together. Um, I ain't gonna say necessarily running the streets, but just didn't have any anything to get. I'm still banking on rap shit, still doing a little bullshit here and there. So I wanted to prove that, L, I can do this shit. So I decided to be, I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to school to become a dentist. All right? Mm-hmm. So I went to the fucking dental. I went to try to register and this bitch was like, I feel like I went through the story. I'm telling the story again. But the lady was like, yo, you coming from fucking music and you want to become a dentist? Like, that's so night and day. She's like, do you know anything about it? I was like, no. So she said, listen, before you fucking go in here and try to get this degree, why don't you try to get like a fucking dental assistant shit, work in the industry, see if you like it. And then that way. So I did that. So I went, got a fucking, went to a little dental school um, for like a year, got the fucking thing and I did the shit. I made some money. What'd you do? Uh, you sold some pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, my theater group, which is my other business, uh, tour- touring theater group, Mayhem Poets, uh, got, actually hired to do a poem for Fauci. And so I'm going to help write a poem about Fauci for like this thing. <laughs> Fauci. Are you serious? Dead ass. Is it going to be positive or negative? It's got to be positive. It's like some sort of a fucking celebration for all like public health people. So I got to say some dope shit about Fauci. That's hilarious. Yeah. Call him a faggot. <laughs> I don't think that will fly. That'd be, that'd be wild. <laughs> That'd be if you did like some weird anti mask, anti vax thing. Yeah. Talked about it being New World Order. That'd be fucking sick. Wait, are you going to do the, Are you going to read the poem or no? No, I'm going to write it. I'm going to co write it. And then the, the group, my group is going to perform it. Yeah. Do you have any like anti vaxxers in the group, you think? No, nah, everybody's rogue? like down for whatever. Like, no one, no one's, okay. they're all like mature adults. You know what I mean? They just don't, they're like, <laughs> you know, they don't really have time to anti vax like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. So that was cool. So I made a little bread and I'm spending it like wildfire already, bro. I can't, I got no fucking willpower. I just, ugh. we were at dinner with like 10 people a couple nights ago. I'm at one end of the table, he's at the other. The bill comes and he just pays it. And I'm like, yo, go. <laughs> like, how, how, much, how much is that bill? I think it was like a couple hundred dollars. I can't, I can't, I can't hold on to money very well. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah. <laughs> so he told me this. Anyway. All right. So, yeah. We know the Jewish guy wasn't going to pay for it. Yeah, I was, like, <laughs> dude, I, was, I was more worried about his finances than he was. Yeah. <laughs> Say what uh, my week was cool, man. I'm about to go on the fucking tour next week, so I was like, yeah. I'll just wait till everything fucking. <clears throat> Are you driving here or flying here? Fucking flying. First class, my nigga. For real? Hell uh, yeah. First? First, my nigga. Damn, dude. Come on, man. That's nice. Come on. Dang, That's nice. Is, is that true? I said, I said, I, you know, I'm Jerry's never doing. Me middle seat in class. <laughs> I'm here. never doing. I'm never doing any flight that's over two hours. I'm only doing first class. The motherfucker got the back seat right by the by the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, by the bathroom. right by the bathroom. <laughs> yep. You can hear. The, you can hear the, <laughs> nah, the fucking. No, nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like maybe the second row. I think you can hear I'll them fart while they pee, bro. Let's go. <laughs> and then come all over there, poop. But poop. I, I land at like 7 p.m. Are you in the Mile High Club, Jaren? Nah. Anybody? No. No. Damn, I, I kind of don't. Even have, I don't even have a desire to be in the. Mouth. I had. It, I do. I had a shot at it, dude. I was like, she was like, "Yo, let's do it," and I just wasn't in the mood. Yeah, it was, I bitched oh, out, bro. I feel pissed off about that shit. No. I, I barely could stand up and piss in them small ass bathrooms, let alone trying to fuck. I had. Perf I was a little nervous, to be honest. I wasn't in the mood, but I was also like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it up right now. Really? Yeah, I just I was just kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. It was like, what if, like, it's like a high stakes situation. You get into that bathroom, you know what I mean? You really got to knock it out or you just failed. You know what I mean? That's a tough fail. Now, a I, mile I, high I, fail. It would be so exciting that it wouldn't be hard. But um, I fucked on a train once. Train six. Yeah, on an Amtrak. That's less, that's way less cool way than less the cool. mile high. Of, like less. homeless people fuck on trains. You got to run trains on trains. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. All right. My week. Uh, yeah. I had a really sad week. Oh damn. Yeah. Oh man, you cried again. Oh yeah. Oh, Max was weeping. What this happened, week. man? I, it's weird because like, uh, you know, I was never a dog person until like a few years ago. Um, Lindsay had a couple dogs. I had two dogs, and uh, you know, one we live. Her mother is like a duplex, so her mom lives upstairs, and I've gotten pretty close with her mom, and then. Uh, her mom has a dog and we have a dog. and But like there's overlap. Like sometimes both dogs stay with us. Sometimes they're both with her. Anyway, her mom's dog like died unexpectedly um, a couple days ago. It was so sad. I don't know. I'd never like dealt with a pet death before. But it was really, it was very sad. I was sad about it. But even more than that was like me and Lindsay had to break the news to her mom. Mm. And like her mom was devastated. Because, you know, her mom's like single, you know, doesn't do a ton. The dog was a big, big part of her mom's life. And so just to like, and I like, I really love this woman. Um, and yeah, just like the, she she was really distraught and really sad. And uh, mm. and it was a huge bummer. I was like, it was funny because something like anger came over me. Like uh, mm. I was angry that someone I care about was in that much pain. But it was silly because like there's no one, there's nowhere to put that anger. There's no one to be so mad at. So or, you bought a TV. Whatever. No, um, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying uh, to. He bought her a TV. He's like pissed off. I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to buy a TV. I yeah, like I it. bought her something nice. <laughs> I spent some time with her. But like, did, yeah, okay. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, He's like, you lose a dog, but you got a TV now. No. <laughs> I got it. She got a pet hey, TV. She walks a TV what's, on a leash. <laughs> what's the. What's the... <laughs> oh, ah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. Oh, R.I.P. No, no, to no. the dog. Oh, R.I.P. to Blue, man. Blue, Blue was a sweet dog. I Very sweet R. dog. R. Yeah. And, you know, tough for Lindsay, tough for me, and really tough for <laughs> I'm me. I'm not letting... Yo, please don't let Lindsay watch it. I'm hey. just picturing... Hey, man, no. The the, grief has all God, kinds of fucking feelings, bro. Around a fucking TV dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so so let me ask you this. Because you said that you when you brought him to the oh. vet, they kind of... They fucked it over, right? Because they said it that... was so whack, bro. So a couple nights ago, mm -hmm. or it was like three days ago, uh, Lindsay's like, "Hey, you know, I think the dog's like, I'm going to take her to the vet." We go to the vet, or she goes to the vet, and they're like, uh, "I think it's fine, but you know, I don't have the stuff to do like the X-ray, so take her to the emergency room." We take her to the emergency room, um, like the fucking nine one one emergency room. No, the, the <laughs> pet hospital emergency room. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Like a so, pet yeah, emergency on. room. <laughs> and she's there for a couple hours, and they're like, "She's fine. She'll be fine by morning. She just has a tummy ache." Don't worry about it. Take her home. Take her home. And then, like, later that night, she's, like, clearly not fine and getting worse. So they take her back. And uh, 
And they're like, oh, you know, we think she's going to be fine, but we'll keep her overnight to keep an eye on her. Um, that was that. And then I wake up the next morning, and it's Lindsay, like, bawling. She's like, blue is gone. So what happened was Lindsay called, or they called her to tell her, like, hey, you know, she has some, like, problem with her intestines, but, you know, we're going to do this, that. It's going to be okay. And then, like, while they're on the phone with Lindsay telling her that the dog is going to be okay, they're, they're like, oh, she's coding, she's coding. And the dog passes away while the dog doctor's on the phone with Lindsay about to tell her it was going to be okay. So it was, wild. like, wild. That's and then, like, wild. Lindsay was on her way to work, so she, like, Double back and came and like wanted and we had to like go up and tell her mom. It was that's it was, wild. It was that shitty. that that's wild that they fucking they thought that the, they it means it seems like they were fucking clueless, bro. It like what like did it, really like, fucking. Oh, she's clueless. gonna be fine. And then the fucking dog dies. Like right yeah. there. That's and I even mean, the day before we were there and they were like, take her home. She's fine. She'll be fine by morning. We'll give her this thing for tomorrow morning, but she probably won't even need it. I, you know. But I don't fuck with vets, bro. <sighs> you know what? I had a thought when I was there. I was like. You've got to be a decent person because, like, who else wants to be a vet? You must love animals. Because I was, I was, I wanted to like that. Lindsay and her mom didn't like go at them at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you mean go at them? You want to go at the vet? A little bit. Like, what the fuck? Like, we were here yesterday. You said like, like, I I mean, but it wouldn't have helped anything. They wouldn't have gave shit. Vets, bro. Vets do care about animals, but then they also get they get to the point where. You know, they're like, you know, uh, whatever the fuck. They just want get that money because you know. So so I heard a. I heard a comic say too, and I've made a good point that a vet's main job is to kill dogs. That's pro- the vet. The vet probably does that more than helps dogs. They probably put more dogs down. Oh, they put a lot down. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a mix. I mean, do people bring like their iguana to the vet? I saw someone in the waiting room with a snake. See, that's that's where it gets yeah. weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where you end up, you know, with reptiles in there. What do you, what do you like? Uh, reptiles got a sprained ankle. I mean, what, you know, what, what, what do you? Yo, human beings, man, we are some unique creatures. <laughs> really we're the only creature that care about anything. You're like, you think a fucking snake give a fuck about us? I don't know. These vets exploit you, man, because they try to guilt you. Like, oh, you don't want that extra wormer for your dog? And I'm like, what do you mean extra wormer? Like, oh, there's a new strain of worm this weekend in the L.A. area. I'm like the fuck you talking nah i don't want this wormer you know what i mean and then they're like oh well and so you start to feel like shit and and all these add-ons i don't know i don't don't fuck with vets like that man that's why i don't get animals man i I, first i don't want to fuck them at my house but two you get so attached to them and then you know when they pass it's like i'm fine with it sad i'm fine with it you know i lost my dog it was tough i cried and shit you know but uh then i kept it moving you know i buried my fucking cat that shit stunk you know what i mean put it down there boom it's cool, man. It's part, that, that's part of life. You know, I've dealt with a lot of death in my life, a decent amount. And uh, not that I'm like, I, I don't feel like so attached to like the humans or the animals of this world. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of like, all right, we're going to die. I'm going to fucking die. Like, and then you cry, but then you keep it moving as part of it. I don't know. I just don't feel It's that. interesting. So I, I know that it about It changes you. when you got kids. Mm. I mean, I, yeah, sure. I know I had kids, so I can't say. When you get kids, Mm -hmm. you look at shit through your child's eye. Like, I look at shit like, for instance, I was watching this shit on the news, and it's a six-year-old kid, fucked fucked up story, shot Mm -hmm. his teacher. Oh, I heard about this. First grade. So I saw the interview with the lady interviewing, you know, it's fucked up that she got hurt, but the way she was talking about the kid is if, like, she was talking about an adult. She's like, I'll never forget the look in his eyes. I'm like, it's a fucking six-year-old kid. That's wild. It's a baby. So I'm thinking if I would, and it seemed like she was, you know, she rightfully so she could grieve however she want to, but it seemed like she was kind of like, you know, I'll never forget. But for me, if I was in that situation, having kids, even if a kid fucking shot me a six year old, I can empathize and I know what it is because I've had six year olds. I I would talk to the kid like, yo, I'm not mad at you, you know, and I, I want, I would more so. Reach out to the kid. Wow, that's you, you might be a little mad, bro. I, you, I would flush the kid down mad, the toilet if yeah. you shot me, bro. I'm, I, you shoot me, just a rat for you, bro. I don't but care if, who the if, fuck you are. A six year old. If you're a baby not, and you shoot now, me, if it was like a twelve year old, ten year old. You, I, but I'm th- think about kid was in first grade. Like, nah, bro. You're a baby. You shoot me. I'm playing football still a with you, fucking bro. Baby, playing football with a baby. If he shoots me, bro. You could only see it through that lens if you got a kid. If you got a kid, I hear you, man. But like, you know, at the end of the day, like. <sighs> I don't know, bro. I just don't. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I, I see you. That, that, like, knowing you and knowing how you talk about death, whatever, I think obviously what you went through with your mom has, like, made you. You probably went, I, I, my guess, knowing you pretty well, is that there was, like, a experience that was very tough 
that led you to some level of acceptance around it. I think that's part of it. And having gone through that, now other shit that's like less like a dog or, yeah. or whatever is not going to be like your fucking mom when you were fairly young. Yeah. So it's like, you can Like, I feel the like, attachment. Like, my mother, okay, so like my mother, she died when I was uh, like 26, but she was like, in the prime of her life, it was, it was two, she was 52, and like, she was the person who I knew like loved me the most in this fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I truly, you know, she did. So whatever, like, so she, I lose her. You know what I'm saying? At a, at a vulnerable time. And I'm like, it was so ill. It was like, I don't want to even be alive type shit. Like, I didn't. And then I got past that and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, not that I don't give a fuck at all, but I, I just don't give that much of a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if I had a kid, it would be different. But like, when I lost my dog, it was like, it sucked and I felt the feeling, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm devastated with, I can't live without, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. So I don't know. Maybe it, it would be different. It, it is one of those things to where you can't. If you don't have a kid, you can't even really fathom what I'm trying to say. And I remember telling my second kid's mom yeah. the same thing. I've back heard this in the day. Yeah, I've and heard she this. She had it. it now sense. she is completely different. It makes sense. But then, I mean, there's people who lose a kid. You know what I mean? That's a, it's it, what you're saying makes sense. Like there's this like, um, you know, next level, you know, like uh, connection to life that you experience that you're saying when you have a kid to love to all this shit. You care. But yeah. there's also this next level kind of detachment to life when you lose someone who's really close to you. You know what I'm saying? Whether yeah. it's a mother, like it's, if it's your primary person, you know what I mean? So like, it's tricky. Like there's people who like, you know, they lose a kid and then they can't sh ever show love for their other kids type shit. You know, so it's like, I think there's a spectrum around it, but I do understand what you're saying, that there's a next level connection when you have the, you know, when you have the child. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a next level connection of how you look outward to the world. Yeah, because you like you start seeing shit. You start putting your kid in situations like you look at everybody, and I could empath certain situations. You see I the child in everyone. You see the child yes. in everyone. Yes, perfect. Okay, yeah, I got you. I, you see the kid in everybody. Uh, uh Aaron, kid. Uh, are you gonna have children? Is that your plan? Uh, I'd like like four children. Four kids. He's a good Christian boy. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I'd like to have a big family one day. Me too. And you just That's at, the goal. And you're just at the grill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can have the kids. Yeah. I want, I just want like, um, it's funny. So you could tell some comments were like early on before the bomb was dropped, but some of them you can't tell. So a book, cause you talked about Caitlin a little bit and then, you know, we came back. So, a Boogie Rap said, I feel like Caitlyn was after revenge. Asking for no bag really put it over the top for me. Also, my girl works in HR for a home health company that uses Teslas for all their providers. I told her to make some calls. My uh, man. Hell yeah. What's that guy's name? A Boogie Raps. OG. A Boogie Raps. Oh, yeah. A Boogie Raps. Thank you, my guy. Um, so right after I dropped it, I Potato said, now nah, Caitlyn is a real one. You need to lock her down. She sounds great. Also, Jaron, hope you feel better after the wreck. Bro, I feel like Aaron well, you, right now is like, you seem like you're you're kind of in like, um, also like missing Caitlyn, even right now as we speak. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I can <laughs> yeah, see yeah, you yeah. have a forlorn look in your eye, bro. Like, yeah. I, a hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred I get you, man. So that comment was dropped right after we, we put it out. So I responded as a high school dropout. Get back to us in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and part of it aaron is is you kind of want us to call her right a little bit but we're not going to like oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 a little you have bit. that same look bit. in your eye that you had before you dropped the fat the peg uh mm -hmm. bomb last week <laughs> and then he responded yeah. to that that is the last story i expected <sighs> yeah and then uh greg before i said that uh god damn it you spoiled the podcast for me potato but this is again very early in the episode. Mm. And then I Potato responded saying, Trust me, that's the low light of this episode, if anything. Which um, part was he talking about? The low light? And then <laughs> oh, Greg responded because yeah, 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 he yeah, talks yeah, about yeah. Caitlin at the beginning, and then we come back I got to you. it. Yeah, yeah. And then Greg said, I Potato, I have 20 minutes left of the episode, and you're absolutely right. My God, I'm going to call Aaron Peggy Hill now because he lives in Texas and loves getting pegged. Peg <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, Bundy. <laughs> uh kuka said jaron is in total disbelief uh cayman said aaron i came across your tiktok 
Those dating advice videos aren't too bad. The GS, the G's to P's thing had me laughing. See, I love that. I love that people are also checking out Aaron, Aaron on a deeper level. They hear about this this uh, sexual experience that Aaron Gotta has, know more. and now they're looking Aaron's ass. Who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and now they're checking out your dating advice. You know, I like it. Yeah, no, I, I watched it. I watched the episode too. Darren, listen, man, I didn't. My laughter and disbelief. I didn't. It, I wasn't. You didn't tout it. Hopefully, you, I didn't make you feel ashamed. <laughs> no, no, I don't no, care. No, no, I feel no, no shame. I feel no shame. No, no Aaron, Aaron. I feel yeah. no shame. Uh, you know, Aaron, do I, you, man. Whatever floats your boat, man. Do you, bro? I want to ask you about something, Aaron, because, you know, I'm a big fan. And I know you started posting reels. Yeah. And then you kind of stopped. And I just. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering what's up and if uh, we can uh, encourage you to keep going with that the sports well, reels I posted, I posted some tiktoks okay I, i'm posting i'm gonna post all those clips on uh tiktok and uh yeah i'm gonna just keep recording my sets out here hopefully i have some good moments did you kind of use up the good those. ones from that one set that you had recorded is that what's up yeah okay yeah. got you got you but everybody go to aaron yeah, what's yeah. your tiktok aaron uh i don't know let me see I'll get back. I'll, I'll figure it okay, out. Okay, yeah. everybody go but to yeah, Aaron's TikTok. To post we'll put it on the screen. TikTok now. But everybody, you know, Aaron needs some love, man. He's going through a, you know, that's the, yeah. that, that's a double whammy, bro. You know, like you're dealing with, the, you know, the breakup, the sadness on that tip, as well as the new, the new environment, the move. So you know, give, give some love to Aaron, man, folks. He needs it, bro. You know, what I'm saying we, you know, we out here. Real quick, I'm gonna Let's skip see, around. Send him a bouquet. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> some pussy butter. Um, <laughs> shout out real quick to, um. Give me a moment. Well, someone, I'm going to find it in a second, but someone made us a uh, Discord. Oh, yeah, we have a Discord now. Jaren, Jaren oh, yes. are you hey, on Discord? Y'all got to break that shit down to me. Yeah, we got to show Jaren how to how to do Discord. I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about taking my glasses off and, like, rocking my eyes. But I was like, nah. <laughs> rocking my eyes. Like, your <laughs> eyes are an accessory. It's like your eyes are an accessory because the yeah, glasses are. are the regular. That's yeah. funny, bro. Yeah. He's like, rocking my eyes. Rocking my eyes, man. I mean, look, Discord could could get us popping, bro. NFTs, somebody make us some shit, you know what I mean? Let's I mean, I don't know. We got to get we got to get out there, man, with with the Discord fam. I don't even know how to do it, really. Bro, it's so weird. I can't find the the Discord. I mean, I have the Discord, but I can't find the comment about the Discord. Oh. That so I can give credit to who made it. Um, but anyways, we have a Discord. It's fire, and I actually just added uh, a comedy channel and posted oh, Aaron's uh, so, YouTube account. There. Oh, that's dope. So, you know, no. go get it. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, all right. Megan Klobchar. Yo, we have a couple women fans. We have Megan and Patty. That's it. Yeah. Hey. And, then that one, <laughs> no, and then the one lady who likes to took long diatribes. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Megan and uh, Patty. <laughs> yeah. Nathan Camilleri says, Kyle talks about wanting to find a wife, proceeds to talk about Frankenstein. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, that was in the past. Megan Klobchar says, You guys don't need guests, lol. I skip guest episodes. You guys are great. I watch for you guys not to interview someone I don't know or care about. I'm a hateful ass bitch. Sorry, it's your podcast. Do whatever you want. We appreciate it. Hold on, what, what, break that down. What did she, she say? She was just saying that, like, y'all don't need any guests. I love you all the way you are. Because we always oh, be talking you. about how we need to get a, a super popping guest. That's what yes. she's saying, but she's like, we don't need, we don't need uh, Brandon that. Brandon Oridi. What a sweetheart. That's sweet. For sure. Brandon Oridi said, Jaron, Cold Heart was fire. This is why you're my favorite rapper and kind of relate well. You prepared me to relate. I lost my stepbrother to suicide in 2019. I've been a fan since 2012. I fuck with your discography. Bought two tickets to your shows, but COVID fucked it up. Second time, I got COVID and I missed it again. I hope to meet you in person. Please keep making music. I also lost my grandma to cancer recently and watched her get eaten up right before my eyes. Please come back to Cleveland. That was a lot. Well, shout out to that guy, man. Yeah, hey, bro, I shit. appreciate that. 100%. Thank you, sir. And shout out for being keeping all real shit yeah. and sharing that shit, man. You know, air that shit out. You know, I man. love that record though, Cold Heart. My condolences. Fire. Yeah, condolences, yeah, bro. Yeah, I um, to the families. Come, my mom had me at 40, and I'm normal mostly. Go nut and some bitches, turn a hoe into a housewife. That's Greg B, formerly known as Man in a Gucci Suit, Kyle Fapps. <laughs> <laughs> we got the three fire emojis from Kane Tokoloshi. Fucking a Frankenstein girl is the most wild shit I've ever heard. Then Aaron hits us with a pegging. Some people take it to the next level. These boys are the next level. <laughs> oh, that should be our shit, bro. That's our quote. <laughs> Bryce Springer. Uh, it, it, oh, go ahead. 
Yeah. So how do how the fuck do we top that last episode, man? It's like this one is so somber. You know, and do some more crazy shit, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll try. Maybe, yeah. maybe next time, maybe look, we have two open mics between now and uh and uh, the next episode. Maybe okay. I'll get on and maybe I'll get a job at the comedy mothership and my life will change forever. I love that it. That could be cool. I love it. We'll see. Uh, you get some Bryce, to come on our show. Yeah, if I get that job, yeah. Yeah. Bryce Springer asked, Was Aaron one of the friends looking at dildos in the Tom Goes to Sex Shop? Ah. Ah. No, that no. Was me. That was Max. <laughs> oh, I remember that. When Jaren did the white face. I come in here with my friends and these guys go straight to the cocks. <laughs> They're gay. Hey guys, uh, by any chance, uh, is there any reason why you guys are over here searching for cocks? And yeah. you filmed yeah. uh, at Fred at the sex shop. Yeah. That was me and Tom and Dirty. Um, Greg B, formerly man in a Gucci suit, said, man, y'all a bunch of freaks. I microwaved banana peel and fucked it when i was a teenager and i thought that was fucked up that definitely is also yeah, a great fruit yeah, yeah, i was trying to like yeah. fucking downplay yeah. that giving kyle ideas I thought that was fucked up. no no, no I, i'm trying to think about how that worked so he's saying he put the banana peel up his ass or or nah, that he, he said he said, he's, he, said no. he fucked the banana peel after he microwaved it oh i thought he put a hot banana peel in his butt no it was warm and flappy and he fucked it well, that sounds like you've done it <laughs> i'm just assuming um <laughs> Also a grapefruit, which is overrated as fuck. It has no feeling. Um, Why don't y'all just buy, like, the fucking sex toys? The emotionless grapefruit. Y'all niggas over there fucking fruit. <laughs> Gliz Ward. Damn, Jaron. Glad you're good, man. I totaled my car this past summer. Funny enough, Schizo was playing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that guy, man. Cold crash your whip. Nurgle. Bless. Surviving car wrecks. Miss you, Nurgle. Shout out to Nurgle, man. Aaron going from this Gliz Ward. Aaron going from getting fucked to <laughs> to laying on his stomach, kicking his feet. Got to be the funniest shit I've ever seen. That was a great. What an episode! Oh shit, bro! I I watched the episode and like had some belly laughs, just like what, just like experiencing all of it, man. Yeah, it spectacular. Um, should win that episode. Should win an award, and yeah, hundred percent. Uh, Ragnar, Ragnar Incarnate said, Legendary episode. Jaron, can you tell Els to put, I don't, to put, don't I look like a drug dealer on Spotify? Mm. Els, put, don't I look like a drug dealer on Spotify? I actually, you probably can't because Kato fucking probably resold all them beats. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Riken is back. He said, I listen from Spotify now, but pull up when I need to react to something. Jaren's accident, feel better, King, and Aaron's anal adventure made me pull up to write this comment. Man's bussy looked like the confetti emoji after she pulled out. <laughs> hey, you know what? We should have played, played the Lemmy Wink song for you, man. The Lemon Wink? Lemmy Winks. Y'all don't, don't know about Lemmy Winks? No. Bro. No, what is this? This is homework. Tonight, you just look up South Park Lemmy Winks episode. Y'all right. have never seen motherfucking Lemmy Winks. We gotta get, we gotta screen Bro. share shit. You know what I mean? Come on, man! It, it's the most classic, like we did with the Facetime. Yeah, we can watch yeah. it together, and then like that's what Joe Rogan does. He like watches shit with his guests or with you know what I mean, and they just talk shit about it and just chilling. Okay, we gotta do, we gotta do that shit. How do we do it? I'm worried it'll fuck shit up. What do you mean? No, not now. I mean the oh. future. Well, let's test it yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before an episode next time, and then we'll know. What the fuck? That's Lemmy Winks? Yo, y'all never seen Lemmy... Yo, it's the... I'll, I'll never forget this. It's probably one of the most funniest episodes of South Park. Please. Mm. I'll peep it up. Please watch Lemmy Winks episode. Yeah. Riken, my bad, back again. Kyle, do you think deeper into a woman's soul in a convo or in a pussy when they do yoga? No. What? It wasn't a yes or no question. I mean, I'm knowing the question. No, obviously, oh. a conversation, dude. You have a conversation with somebody, you get a real, a real look at who they are. You know, you look inside them physically 
and uh, you just see a bunch of meat. Have you ever seen the esophagus from the back? You don't really get any identity from their organs. Well, there you have it, Rocky. Uh, Greg B. said, What programs do y'all use for music production? Fruity Loops like Hobson? No. I use, uh, I use uh, me and Kyle both use... Um, Logic. Logic. Yeah. Um, also, Max, if it's not too personal of a question, how much did it cost to start up Pink Cloud Studios and what was the process? Really? You say Max? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Yo, I, I feel like I uh, experienced a racist moment last night. Not two nights ago. For me? No. Yo, but, but I want to hear about this. Uh, we will. But uh, Italian uh, restaurant? Yes. Uh, so one of the dudes, white dude, said, hey, Kyle, can you um, ask him to do separate checks? Right. And so I said, hey, can we do separate checks? And then he looks at Ryland. And goes, oh, you want separate checks for everyone? And he and he's like, yeah, yeah, is that okay? Like, why didn't he look back at me, dude? Like, I was the one saying the thing. Why specifically, Ryland? Ryland wasn't even next to you. He was. A- is that what made you pay the bill? Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, flex on him. Uh, I feel. Anyway, you. keep going. All right, so wait. Uh, all right, so whatever. So w- Max and Kyle. Who fucking both put their money in to <laughs> make this shit happen Listen, and the continues? The comment. <laughs> okay, Pink Cloud Studios. Go. How do we? How much did it cost? Yeah. Are we gonna tell them? I don't know. We're still losing money, so yet to be determined. Uh, yeah, the, the cost <laughs> continues. <laughs> it's plunging lower and lower. <laughs> the cost continues. Um, I mean, I'll put it in the Discord. I'll yeah. break it down in the Discord. Yeah, we'll for real, for real. full breakdown in the Discord. Yeah. Um, Aaron, what? I can't hear you. Yeah, what the. <laughs> I thought I that needed. nigga, yo, I thought he was just hey. talking to himself. I'm like, yo, my nigga, I hey, uh, do it over there. Oh shit! What uh, what? We didn't get a pink cloud update this week. Did y'all get scammed? I saw y'all made an IG story saying come that rant was pink Kyle. cloud. That was Kyle's attempt What's at going work on? this weekend. That was my hit, Mary. <laughs> Kyle put a, an IG story on his personal saying, "Come record your music at Pink Cloud Studios." That was my hail Mary. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we got we finally convinced someone to do a free session. For promotional purposes, so we got Jansport J coming and bringing uh, you know some folks. Jansport J did some production on Nas's uh, record, so you know, hopefully he'll he'll bring some folks around who want to who want to pay in the future. So that was good. So we're running around fretting for a free thing, you know, we're cleaning and doing whatever, but it's cool. I mean, you know, we're <laughs> and we're meeting. We're deciding we want to meet more regularly to get more hyped about the thing because we kind of let it work. go a little bit. Yeah. So know? instead of having business meetings and doing work, never. We're going to start. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, sick. That's it. All right. Any other uh, parting words? No. I, all I'll say is the episode will be better than you think. Yeah. yeah. Do your magic. Do your magic. I got you. I got I you. I agree. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> watch that South Park episode. I got you. Jaren, who are you going to invite? Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, He's not going to. You need to, Max, we need to learn to let stuff go. You know, when he yeah. says, let me winks, we just go, okay, yeah. hi, let me wink. <laughs> and then whenever, whenever yeah, he goes, like, like, like a somebody. senile grandfather. Is let me winks our code word for <laughs> drop it? <laughs> <laughs> let me works our code Max word for doesn't drop it. drop it. And then him and Jared get in this endless loop of like, fucking, wait, wh- who are you going to call? <laughs> I'm not going to call anyone. Okay. Wait, but who were you gonna call? I'm gonna nah, call. I'll, t- I'll talk to you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Oh, Let me wink. I'll tell you. Let me winks. It's not gonna be better than expected. <laughs>